Okay, here's a tutorial on how to use power clip and using drop shadow to to make uh, you know like surrealistic drawing like this one. Okay, so first uh, what we're gonna do is okay, looking at this one. Uh, if I break this down into pieces, I got three objects here, which is the drop shadow, the apple, and the background. So what I'm going to do to do first, I'm going to delete the drop shadow. We're going to start from scratch. So you click on the on the uh, on the apple, and I'll just extract the content here. Delete this one. Okay. When I started this one, uh, I got two pictures on the web. It's one of the office and one of the apples. Now my problem is uh, how can I isolate this apple and remove the background? Uh, you can do it in other softwares, but you can also do it inside Corel if you want to. So we're going to use Power Clip to do that. Well, first of all, if you have to go to Options to make the Power Clip uh, uh, right, so you go to Options and go to Options. This is important because if not, your your Power Clip won't work. Okay. So when you click on Options, this dialog box shows up and you go to edit okay so make sure because the default of Auto of Corel draw is that this one is clicked on you know so remove the check mark and make sure auto center uh, new power clip content is not checked okay and then click OK okay now what we're gonna do is we're going to make a shape of the apple power clip this image inside the container okay we're gonna do the container first so you go to the Bezier tool Okay, so the second option, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create some dot points, 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 points. It doesn't matter because apples are not really, uh, it's irregular shape. So you just make a you know, shape like this. So what we're, we're doing is we're tracing the apple. Okay, trace. Okay, the lesser nodes you have, the smoother uh, object you have. And if you see that arrow there, close means so you can close it and to make sure that this is a closed object put a fill and if it's filled with color then that's fine now let's remove the fill right now okay okay now now I click on the object which is the shape that I just did what I'm gonna do I'm going to go to my shape tool click the first line and then right mouse click and go to to curve so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shape the apple. So click here, right mouse click to curve. Okay, so this is fine. I'll just move this over. The secret there is that you have to allow. Uh, you have to put the object inside it so that no white background would show up. So let's continue here. Go to your shape tool. This is fine. Click click onto the line right mouse click to curve okay that's fine just doing this fast okay to curve okay click here to curve okay click here to curve okay click here to curve and I'll just make a little bit of curve maybe going inside click here to curve Click here to curve. We're almost done. Click here to curve. Let's put it inside on this side. Click here to curve. Okay, I'll just put it that way. Click here to curve. And I think we only have to do this last two to curve. To curve. Okay. Perfect. So we're done. Okay. I have to fix up something here. The this one is like a, a bit pointed. So what I'm gonna do is maybe put it this way. That looks good. Move this down. And uh, there you go. That looks fine to me. Okay. Now going back to our photograph here. Okay. So click on the photograph or the image. Go to effects power clip 
case we're gonna place it inside the container that we've done so when you click place on place inside the container it's okay Corel just asking which container so this container that you've done right so click and there you go but if you notice here if I put it inside my picture it has an outline okay so you're gonna remove that outline so click to your outline tool and click on the X option for no outline perfect now I'm ready to put it into my desk okay. you still can retouch a little bit so for example here it's a bit sharp so I'll just double click on this one and make it that way okay therefore now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a drop shadow so click on the uh, the apple since it's a container then I can make a drop shadow so I click on my interactive drop shadow Okay, I can use presets here. Let's do some presets here. Let's choose that one. Okay, it's creating a drop shadow now. Okay, it's a it's a big file, so it takes takes some time. Okay, so now you get a drop shadow here. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm okay with that one. But now, in order to separate the drop shadow from the object, so you click on the drop shadow itself. Click on the drop shadow, don't click on the apple. Click on the drop shadow itself, like that. Okay, then go to Arrange, Break Drop Shadow Group Apart. Okay, so now I'm able to separate the drop shadow and the, and the object. Now I click on the drop shadow, okay, that's the drop shadow and then I shrink it down and I'll just move it forward there shrink it down a little bit and there you go I've just done that in Corel Draw not using Photoshop so now that's it it's the end of the tutorial so uh, sometimes you look at magazine you have just such you know uh, sorry if you go back to the picture here and if you want to make that float you can just pull this up there and there it looks like the apple is floating right. or sometimes you you see a, a poster with just this one just like the apple floating okay now this one you can always change the transparency of this one. Say, for example, you think it's too dark for a drop shadow. Uh, you can go bitmap, convert to bitmap. Okay, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna make it lower DPI so it'd be faster. Okay, so you convert it to a bitmap uh, RGB. Okay, and then make sure the transparent background is is checked. And you click OK. Okay. Now, since it is a bitmap now the drop shadow is a bitmap then now I can use my uh, the transparency tool the interactive transparency tool and I can go to uniform then I can adjust the transparency of my sh drop shadow there that's it